12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff. Hello, we are the First Nations Launch MSD team representing the Future Stewards Program at RIT, and we are trying to tackle the 15th annual First Nations Launch National Rocket Competition. This competition has three levels of difficulty, and we chose to do the most challenging, the Mars Challenge. So what is the Mars Challenge and what makes it so difficult? This flight path is our goal. Let's take a closer look at each step. First, the motor of the rocket ignites and propels the rocket until the fuel runs out. Then the rocket will coast up to its peak height of 2,500 feet. At this point, a drone will be pushed out of the rocket and a small parachute will be released. The rocket will fall under a smaller parachute till it is 500 feet above the ground. Then a larger parachute will be released to further slow the descent. At the same time, the drone is descending under its own parachute. When the drone is at 400 feet above the ground, the parachute will detach itself. Our drone pilot will then fly the drone to a landing pad. That's a lot of moving parts, right? How did we tackle this? We broke this problem down into smaller jobs and we got to work. The flight has two components that must work together, the rocket and the drone. Luckily, we have a team member that has experience building rockets and a team member that has experience building drones. Then we broke down each component into subsystems. Broadly, there is a mechanical system and an electrical system for each component. Let's start off with the mechanical system for the rocket. For the body of the rocket, our team had designed a shape, length, and weight so that the rocket will reach as close to 2,500 feet as possible. We also chose the size of the parachutes so that the rocket doesn't break upon impact. Using a rocket simulator, it was determined the maximum height the rocket will reach is 2,546 feet, and the fastest the rocket will go on ascent is 434 feet per second. Next, the rocket's electrical system. While the electrical system may look like a mess of wires, this system is important as it measures the height of the rocket and triggers small explosions in the rocket to separate sections of the rocket and reuse the small parachute, the main parachute, and the drone. Now the drone's mechanical system. The entire drone is custom made for this project. The whole drone body and legs are 3D printed with a carbon fiber material. The drone body is designed to fold down to half its size to fit in the top of the rocket. We chose to use rubber bands to unfold the drone. Finally, the drone's electrical system. The electronics on the drone include motors, a camera, and communication with the drone pilot. All of these parts work together when the drone is flying. It's also, it's also electronics that trigger a small explosion that push, pushes the drone out of the rocket. Come the end of February, we had done all the design work on paper. Then the end of March, we had everything built. The scariest and hardest part of this project was yet to come. We had to do our test launch. Would our motor fail? Would our remote work when the drone is 400 feet in the air? Failure could result in losing a $1,500 rocket and or a $700 drone. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Lift off. We have a lift off. Here, we want to do a reflection on what happened during the test launch, what worked and what didn't, and what damaged and what needed to be uh, redesigned or rebuilt. After the test launch, we spent the next few weeks revising the rocket from what we had learned from the test launch, taking what we learned from the test launch and updating our design. Now we have an updated and improved rocket and drone. We are ready to take on our final launch. And our final launch day is today. That's right. Our team members are currently in Wisconsin at the competition, and today is launch day. Throughout the day, our team will be live streaming the competition and rocket launches.